This is section 2.3.5, a uh, summary of what we've just learned, as well as a discussion about <coughs> uh, electrostatic boundary conditions. So um, on page uh, 89 of the second edition, there's this chart that, uh, that um, uh, Griffiths doesn't take credit for. Um, uh, it's basically, there's three pillars of, of electrostatics. There's the uh, charge density rho, and there's the electric field E, and the scalar potential V. And if you're given the electric or the electric charge density, you can calculate the electric field with the simple formula uh, E vector equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught uh, integral of r hat over r squared rho d tau. And I certainly didn't leave enough room for that equation at least. Um, and if you're given E and you want to find rho, then you use the simple equation, the divergence of E is equal to rho over epsilon naught. So that's how you go backwards. Okay. And if you want to find V given the E, then you use the formula V is equal to minus the integral of E dot DL. And if you know the potential you want to find E, then E is simply equal to minus the grad of V. Uh, okay. And I recommend looking in the book because I cannot do as good a job as they do at writing these things down. And the interesting thing we just discovered is that the Laplacian, or I'm sorry, Poisson's equation, where the Laplacian of V is equal to minus rho over epsilon naught. So this way, uh, no, no, this way. And if we're given the density, charge density, we can find the potential with the uh, simple equation rho over r d tau. Okay, so we have these six key equations to uh, find anything, the electrostatic field, the potential, the charge density. Um, there's Knowing these six equations, everything becomes trivial. And if you're any good, you can probably memorize um, you know, one or two equations and learn how to derive the rest through the rather, rather simple steps. So that's the first part of this video. Thank you.